Yeah, that's it. 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 Yeah, here in Aswan in southern Egypt. We just caught the ferry boat over the Nile. And this is a real great historical place. And here we are, and here is Ayla. We're having a great time Good morning. Here. And today we're going to talk about the Breatharian resurrection. As we go on to this historical island, it got great landmarks. Hieroglyphics again. Let me make a photo with you on this background. Hey, look at that, they got my name, El Amin Allen. El Amin. El Amin. El Amin. El Amin. I'm everywhere. Viva. <laughs> I'm at home. Viva El El Amin. <laughs> Viva. Viva life. <laughs> <laughs> so this is awesome again. As we come, we're here on the island right now. Wait a minute, you sure we're on the island? <laughs> oh, yeah, we should be on the island. Okay. We're checking our steps all the time. <laughs> we'll find out here. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go as we come on up. And there's some real great things we want to show you as we go into this uh, new island here. They got the Nubian villages here, the different museums. Ah, oh, let's read that sign again so we can see. All right. Which way to go here? Okay. That's um, guest house called Baba Dul's Nubian house. Only a wall separate my house from Manavet Hotel, facing to Oh. Oh. Yes. Can I help you? Well, we're looking for Elephantine Island. This is it right here. This is Elephantine Island. All right, good. So now we're going to explore. Now we're looking for the historical sites like the landmarks, sort of like where the hieroglyphics is at. And here's the map right here. Okay, here we have the museum. Wow. Is it here? Uh, museum, yes. It is on here? In here, yes. Right. Oh, and I'm El Amin too. This is El <laughs> That's my name. Uh, uh, I'm not to uh, this. So this is El Amin and El Amin. Yeah. <laughs> A United Family Meeting. Right. <laughs> awesome. Yes. You are brothers. Right. Yeah. So we, we are here. Yes, we yeah. are here. Where are we at? Just here. Here we are. All right. And from here we have two museums. This is the Animalia. Oh, yes, Animalia. And the Aswan Museum. Oh, yeah. And where are the temple? Temple of Noom. Ah, is this in here? Temple of Noom. Don't worry, we're going to get this underway here. Okay. So, it seems we can take this route straight. All right. This way and this way, another way. And then back from here, a big circle. So we'll go up this way, I guess? Um, no, no, this way. This way. All right, this way. we're on our way to the museum. Um, notice that they call the man here Baba. So today, <laughs> Baba. Oh, uh, good. And the, and the timbe. Thank you. All right, we got it now. We're going to the Aswan Museum, right. the Nubian villages. And today, again, we're going to talk about the Breatharian Hello. Resurrection. Hello. And what does that mean? Okay. Now, the resurrection, in order to resurrect, that means that something had to be dead or considered dead. Okay. And death doesn't mean that no movement at all. Hello. All right. Hello. It could also mean not working properly. It's not functioning at its full capacity. So as we're on these levels of human potential, we are going to the levels now to get the best out of our vehicle, the best out of our life, because what we know now is that we only got one life. Oh, look at this. Um, 
I'm thinking maybe I should go back and take a photo of that map. Nah, we'll, uh, we'll be all right. We can't oh, get lost. We're, we're on an island for crying out loud. Tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> that's online how we make the plans. <laughs> right, this is how we make our plans. Right. <laughs> so therefore, in order to go to your full human potential, usually the practitioner has to realize or come into the awareness that first there's room for growth. See, if you feel that you already done learned all and know all and stuff like that, that right there will hold your development. So, in order to resurrect, go into this breatharian resurrection, to go into longevity, immortality, a better, full, fulfilled life, the practitioner, for number one, realize that they can actually transform themselves. And we can do that. Our bodies by its nature is always transforming itself. Every time you take a shower, you see the old cells coming off your body when you wipe it off with a towel, and the new ones are growing up right up underneath. Look at this awesome place. This is actually an island, folks, where people live. They got two Nubian villages. We're gonna hit them soon as we keep tracking this island. This is actually paradise. Every day we're saying this is the most amazing thing and every day it's more and more amazing. <laughs> this is really heaven on earth. <laughs> oh, absolutely. So therefore, even when you wake up in the morning and you use the bathroom first, we take that for granted, but that's the body detoxifying all the stuff it didn't need as you was resting and healing yourself throughout the night. So these are givens that's taking place on always keeping us alive. The body always seeks regeneration, health, keeping itself alive. And it's doing a good job for us no matter who you are. So therefore, when you get on the breatharian process to resurrect, you are taking part now into your own personal love affair. In other words, really taking care of yourself at a higher level. There's nothing wrong with that, is it? It's the most important thing we can do for ourselves. First of all, ourselves. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And so you start putting yourself in a really, really beautiful situation continually. You understand? Even if you have to move out of your situation, get away from certain people that's really causing you a headache, in the beginning stages you have to do this to what? Love yourself again so that your body by its nature can continually heal itself as you keep developing the resurrection into this new way of life. Now, we've been taught that doing things that destroy yourself is fun. Now, for a young person, there's an old saying that says, oh, look at this beautiful view. There's a Nile River coming up wow. through there. That what you're doing now is going to hurt you in the future. So of course the young people, you know, I'm just bringing this up as an example, probably have a habit when they're uh, doing certain drugs. Uh, cigarettes. Cigarettes <laughs> and saying it's fun, it's my choice. Okay, we understand that's an experience. I'm not judging this as being good or bad, but if you continue to keep doing those things, it could cause you a lot of harm when you get older because your body has to really try hard to get rid of all of those years of abuse that what we've done to ourselves. Now let's go to the now here, and then we'll come back up this way and continue and down the trail. by the way, like getting away of negative people or of influences, even if it's family, eventually they will want to join and learn from you. But you have to get away first and make a step back in order to reclaim, heal your own power. Oh, absolutely. Now keep in mind that the best teaching isn't really words. It's your example. And people are watching you even though they might not say it out of their mouth. So as you continue on this path, do not let people say negative things to you to throw you off and you think people don't care. You think people ain't watching you, but they are. Now of course they'll probably say negative things. Oh look at you, you're losing too much weight. I'm concerned about you. You need to eat. Hey, how's it going? I see y'all building a good building there. Yeah, right up over the now. 
<laughs> but you're setting an example, believe it or not, and you'd be surprised how the changes you start making in your life when you really stand up to yourself, your uh, energy field is affecting everybody around you in a positive way. So it's really no argument. It's not really the words you say. Stay consistent on the constitution that the universe gave us of healing. And when we stay consistent, then we have the support of the unseen universal forces because we're opening up a gateway and more and more natural power comes in to help us on our way. Absolutely. Now this is the thing about living on prana. Now there's a lot of good people out there. They see me, they see others, they hear the knowledge, they fill in it, good morning. and they go into it. Good morning. And that's good. You got this plan, you're working on yourself, but then you start questioning yourself or asking yourself, when is the day that will take place when I will fully know or to fully let go? Now, it varies from person to person because we come from different paths of life. You got different life situations going on, uh, different jobs we're working. Uh, all of this is taking place within our development. So therefore, everybody's path, there's a saying that says all roads lead to Rome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. But the end result, every practitioner should have the same message. That's what they call the messianic message. I don't care if you're living in China or America. At the end of the day, when both of those beings are fully resurrected, living on prana, it sustains us the same way. You understand? All of the roads lead to the source. All of the roads lead to the that's source. That's where we're going. <laughs> right. That's where we're headed. So therefore, when you listen to these different messages from the different people's paths, uh, one teacher might catch Here your attention are. better than another. Okay, this is the animal milia. Yeah. And uh, it will go up this way. This is one of the Nubian villages. This is wonderful. Right. And we're going to, is the Aswan exactly. Museum this way? No, it's that way. This is the first no, one, and no, after no, that, the Aswan. Oh, got you. And the temple is in the no, middle yeah, between. Um, oh, no, no, sorry. One is on an upper roof, and the other is on a lower roof. Uh, but they make a circle, so. Oh, so we'll hit it eventually. Yeah. All right. So, um, by the way, just yesterday we saw at the Isis temple the Isis goddess with the golden disc on her head, and I mentioned the tradition of women walking with baskets on their head. Look how this, um, we see it now live, this traditional woman, and she's not putting strain on her shoulders. The spine is erect, and the energy is naturally arising. Look, she has green on her head, green energy that's sustaining life. It's so beautiful. That's awesome, the balance of it. <laughs> Even though it's traditional, this takes a lot of uh, skill, know-how, and knowing you can do it. Now, all right. Okay. We'll go this way. Yeah. <laughs> here, here's the sign. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so going back to what we're dealing with, you got the different people who's trying to get this path, don't focus on the day that this is supposed to happen because this is not an event. This is actually a lifestyle. It's sort of like a person who loses a whole lot of weight. There's a lot of people who lost the weight. Then all of a sudden, you always see that person who gained it all back or it got worse than before because they didn't understand losing weight is the easy part. But keeping it off, it's a change of a lifestyle. That means they had to change the way they eat, change their habits, uh, put in an uh, exercise routine. Now, what does this say? Oh, okay. Oh, that's um, house for rent. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll continue this way because the sign went this way and it didn't turn off nowhere. All right. Let's like we said, rent. we're on an island. We can't get lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not stranded on a, lo on, on a lone island in the middle of the sea. All right, we'll be all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, we got, good, hey, we got the four elements. How are we going to die? You understand? <laughs> Oh man. I mean, even being on a lone island, we have everything we need. 
uh, living on Prana, a solar charger for the battery. The broadcast could continue forever. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore, don't look for an event to take place, and that's what usually messes people up, dealing with the pranic path. Get into how you feel day by day, moment by moment. Uh, do you feel like having a day where you feel a lot heavier so you can start laying up on a breakfast or don't eat it at all? Uh, and then when you get to the levels, because there are different st stages and degrees, don't deny yourself the fruits of life. Now, that's heavy what I just said. There is a level called conscious eating. Now, listen now. There's love affairs with certain foods you still might want to have. Don't deny yourself those things, but just have a discipline or make it more of a ritual that you'll have a whole lot of happiness around it. Actually, it's like one Buddhist um, Tibetan teacher once mentioned in the lesson that I was, that if you want to taste life, it's like honey on a very sharp razor blade. You have to know how to lick the honey without getting yourself cut. Thank you. <laughs> how to eat the honey without getting yourself cut. Right. So everybody is energy workers. Everybody is working with energy and everybody's good at it. But it's about being good at it in a way where you won't hurt yourself, you won't abuse yourself, because when you're dealing with the preventable diseases that's taking place with humanity, especially in the West, high blood pressure, liver ailments, being overweight, strokes, diabetes, that is the abuse of being an energy worker. Now, even though that took place, you can reverse it. This is the thing about us being who we are, as being creatures that can make a plan for ourselves, that can better ourselves, that can transform ourselves. Believe it or not, there was a time I was overweight, felt bad, miserable, <laughs> blood pressure going up. I can't up. believe it. Right. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but now it's a whole other being, you understand. But listen at this now. Now, as we deal with the breath there and resurrection, there's three different levels of your resurrection. First, there's the, in a, I'm going to use the Hebrew terminology. There's a thing called the uh, hakasa. Hakasa is the dreadful awakening. That's when you run into information, you run into knowledge to where everything you basically learn is a lie. You know you need to make changes. Nobody needs to tell you no more. You feel miserable. Your life is not going like it should. So that's the dreadful awakening that usually hit everybody in some time period in their life. And the thing about the Hakasa, when you're dealing with the spiritual realm, it don't care how much money you got. It don't care where you live. It don't care what language you speak. It don't care about what race you are. It hits everybody because the source want to move everybody in their development back into their center because the constitution of life is to, for its continuance. So it all hits us to say, I need to make some changes. So that's step number one of the resurrection. Step number two of the resurrection, even though that idea will hit a person, only a few people make it to the second level. And in the Hebrew terminology, that's called the tekiya. And tekiya is when a person start establishing themselves in some type of truth or what they just learned. See, where you start now, don't try to be like somebody else. If a person is already at the level of being a fruitarian and you're sitting there eating meat and everything else, don't say tomorrow I'm going to become a fruitarian. You're not there yet. <laughs> Build up to it slowly and instead of leaving meats alone altogether, you might need to back up on it first. Don't beat up on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Because there was once a man who said if... Uh, meat was nasty, everybody already be a vegetarian. <laughs> right. So this is a growing process. Oh, this is the Animal Amelia Museum. Oh, great. Now I'm going to uh, wrap this up and then we're going into the museum. So um, actually it's like a person trying to quit a bad habit or quit smoking. Like you prepare yourself several times before you say to yourself positive affirmations like Day by day, my willpower is stronger and stronger. I am now 
quitting and it helps, it really prepares you. And one day it happens naturally. Naturally. You don't want it, you don't want it. It doesn't smell good, it, it repels you, but it comes naturally without a fight. Exactly. You're happy, you're grateful for this moment coming and you brought it in with your intentions. And the way to get to that natural state, that's what we're saying, the second phase of the resurrection is when you start engaging or putting this into action. Right. Just fast once a week. Stop trying to starve yourself. I'm going 21 days. <laughs> I'm going seven days. That's not it. Right. Get into a cycle where your body will get new, used to this new habit. We are creatures of habit. And you'd be surprised. Everything we do is information. And your body start picking up this new information and get the memo and says, I'm ready to start doing this. It's like reprogramming a computer. It's preparing for a feast. The so feast this is the an animal <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> And then the third phase is Kima. And Kima is when you get into your full conscious mind. Thank you so much. <laughs> we sit down. Oh, she said down, down. Down, up. Oh, up you mean? Up, up means the, down. Up, 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 the descent, that's good. Right. <laughs> oh, you mean down here. All right, I'm all, I'm learning a new language here. All right, we got this. Oh, now we sit down. Oh, got you. Wow. Now, this is a beautiful place. We're on Elephantine Island, for those of you who don't know, here in Aswan in southern Egypt. And we're going into the Animamilia Museum. And this is some of the stuff here by the locals. Right. We have this boat, the, the boat we talked about in the morning, that this is the main transportation from ancient times for all of the long, long miles of the Nile. And also we see it on the tombs as a way of transportation for the right. dead. Well, keep in mind, those were the semis back in the day. Right. <laughs> and we're looking at some of the uh, stuff that the locals made that's all natural. Look at that work. Right now we're in this factory age of mass production, work, 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 24 hours. Just get what you need, and that's part of living on planet too. You don't need all of that. It takes you from your center. Focus on yourself first because this is the house. This is the vehicle, and you'll feel a lot more healthier and happier, having less, but being into your true nature and that's what it's all about. And also making everything you need by yourself, as we see here, mud, ovens, we have brooms made of palm leaves, everything, all the furniture is handmade. Look how simple this beautiful little stool is, just a piece of wood and some sticks and you have a chair, you don't have to buy it. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now check this out. Now when we go into the third phase in the resurrection, it's the God consciousness. Now listen at this. How do you know you've got the God consciousness? We can play with words all day long. If you're coming from death to life, from non-functioning into functioning, and to going into your potential, there'll be an energetic skill that will come into your new life. See, any phase in your life where there's some type of disruption, some type of energy balance, the ancients used to say that's where the devil's present. Uh-oh. That's where things need to be straightened out uh, energetically. And you have the power to straighten those things out whether it deals with a uh, relationship, whether it deals with your uh, personal health, whether it deals with your community, uh, where you're living. You can actually straighten out these energies, and when you do it externally, that's showing what's coming off inside of you, it will feed you more, it'll make you more self-sustaining. So this is how you know you got God consciousness, you'll have a lot more energy, you'll sleep less, and you'll have the power to live on prana. This is absolutely a guarantee because you took the time, the patience to work on yourself, to allow yourself to pick up this new habit. Your cells in your body feed off a high frequency energy called ATP. It's all in the atmosphere. See, even though you can't see this atmosphere, this is energy. We're like in an ocean of energy. It's like a fish in this, it, that's in water. There's some fish don't know they're in water. I'm actually making a ripple right now. You understand? We affect each other. So when you start coming into this awareness, this isn't far-fetched on what we're saying at all. Now this is why I say meditation 
is the foundation. <laughs> you know. Ellie. Ah. Ellie. Hmm? Come and see this. This is a natural cooler. It's a vase made out of um, clay. And you see, they put the water inside. Here is water. And it's cool. The water gets prana from the earth. And then a person drinks a real good combination of earth and water energy. You can't beat that. Talk Hello. about clean water. Hello, first of all, you are welcome. We have to know each other. First. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Hello. This Hello. is our tour guide of the Animal Milia Museum. You're our tour guide? I am the owner and tour oh. guide and English and the Spanish okay. speaking. You're awesome. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah, you are what welcome. Is, what is your name? Muhammad Sufi. Muhammad Sufi. Yeah. Oh, we're blessed to meet you. Yeah. I am Ayla. Layla? Ayla. Ayla. Ayla, Ayla. Ayla from what? Ellie Tom. Tom. El Amin. Mm -hmm. El Amin. Yeah, you can call me El Amin since <laughs> I was welcome with my name coming on the yeah. island. Oh, El Amin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Amerikai. Oh, you are I, United States. Now I say I'm from the UN, I'm from the United <laughs> Nations, because wow. I'm all from the different nations. Yeah, yeah. Unified nations. Right. And you also American? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so here is My Tunisia. mother from Arabia, Yemen. Oh, <laughs> your face, yeah. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Yeah. Now he's going to show us some real good stuff here. Uh, here I will explain to you the museum, if you have time, and the, because this museum is for uh, visiting uh, through entrance fees. Oh, good. Yeah. So there are two ways. Uh, if you want a quick tour of 10 minutes, I will take 20, 20 from each one. If you want a relaxed tour of half an hour and more, it will be 40, 40 for each one. Oh, that's great. Uh, so you have to choose. Is that pounds? Yeah, <laughs> Egyptian pound. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do the uh, half hour. The half hour? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll do the half hour a piece. That'll be good. Okay. This is wonderful. You know, well, everybody right. deserves you it. You haven't read about this place before? We're about um, to see the Adam Amelia like Museum. No. If you if you enter Trip Advisor, you uh, know Trip Advisor? Uh, yeah, Trip Advisor. He classifies us uh -huh. number one in the things to be to be visited in Oswald. You, you know better than, than, than me. Now you hear what he said, if you ever take a trip to Oswald, he, he said in TripAdvisor, when you look on the internet, this is a place you must see. No, no, after, after, after. Oh, after. It is not. If, if it was good, you pay. If it was not good, but, don't um, pay. And he said if it's good, you pay. If it's not good, you don't pay. Yeah. We, so he's really going to show us something good because he wanted it to be good. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Your name? El Amin. El Amin. El Amin. Laila. You're my husband. So have a seat and I will, or you can move while I explain in yeah. the, the, the way you walk. All right. Uh -huh. uh, we write with you. Muhammad Sufi. Sufi. Muhammad Sufi. 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 Yeah, Sufi. Look, first of all, this is a map of the island. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Sh shows that the island is divided into five parts. Right. Most southern part is the ancient city of Elephantine, the archaeologic part of Elephantine. Right. And a Nubian village beside it. Most northern part, Hotel Movenbi. Another Nubian village beside it. Right. Between the two Nubian villages, this is a farmland area. Here we are. And that's where we are, at the Animal Yeah, yeah uh, Animal yeah. Oh, good. And there's a mosque there, too, I see. Yeah, uh, in, the, in the middle of the island. Oh, wonderful. And yeah. the four directions. Oh, the botanical <laughs> garden is a far from Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, there is also a monastery up monastery in the desert. Wonderful. And, uh, so there are two Nubian villages, and we are 3,000 people who live over this island. 3,000 people live on this island. Yeah. This all, is awesome. All are Nubian. Oh. And all are Nubian. Who are Nubian? What is Nubian? Oh, I'm Nubian. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nubian. <laughs> Nubian, Nubian people, people used to live in the south of Egypt right. and north of Sudan. Right. South of Egypt, north of Sudan. South of Egypt, north, north of Sudan. Sudan. Yeah, so that's is, Nubia. This is Nubia, yes. 
But in the ancient map, there have been no Sudan. It was Egypt, Nubia, and Ethiopia. So in the ancient map, there was, now listen at this history. Yeah, yeah. So, so Nubia is very old nation. Right. Old. Yeah. Uh, the same time of the ancient Egyptians. Right. It is parallel to the history of ancient Egyptians. The first of the human race. Yeah. And I read that in a book where the Egyptians up north used to say that's Nubians down there. Yeah. Exactly. Going towards the south. So this, uh, this, uh, the ancient part of Africa. Right. Uh, the ancient civilizations in Africa is that of Egypt and Nubia and Ethiopia. Awesome. Uh, that all goes together now. Yeah. Okay. You understand? Yes. Look. Uh, so uh, this this picture shows a Nubian village before building the dams. And here's the picture. Yeah. Before building the dams, this yeah. here. Nubian used to live beside the river mm. on both sides. We are Nilotic people. We live beside the river. Nilotic. Ah, uh, yeah. Living beyond the Nile. Yeah. Uh, we live on both sides, eastern side and western side, and some villages in the middle, like this island. Yeah. You see? So uh, they, they used to live beside the river, but the soil, as you see, sand and rocks. Right. So there have been a narrow area of agriculture. Mm. That's why Nubian were not depending completely on agriculture. They were fishermen, mm. and they were the best sailors who used to guide boats between Egypt and Sudan. Awesome. Boats of commerce. Commerce is the ivory, right. commerce the spices, the perfumes, the, the gold, everything. Those were the semis back in the day. Yeah, yeah. You, you understand? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the ways of transportation in Nubia. Mm -hmm. Inside the village walking. Right. Between a village and another village riding a donkey. Right. In the Nubian desert, riding the camel. Riding a camel. Ah, yeah, as you see. Yes. And in the river, in the river by the sailboat. Right. Which we call Feluka. The Feluka is called the boat. Yes. Oh, Sa and I see that name. Boat. Sailboat. Feluka. Ah, yeah. now we know what that name means. Yeah. Feluka. Yeah. Okay? Yes. You understand? Yeah. Uh, by the way, we are Lilotic people people mm. of the night mm -hmm. and our our famous poet Nubian poet uh, called uh, Sutki ah Sutki from from Garbi Seher you know Garbi Seher yes from Garbi Seher he said uh, he is talking to the Nile saying oh Nile Wonil I will take in uh, talk in Nubia you can yes Wonil arena fiki terero, which means, oh Nile, we are your children and you are our mother. Become a one. He is imagining a woman holding some, some of her children in, in the ha right hand, yes. others in the left hand, <laughs> and others inside the, the islands. Yeah. <laughs> so he is imagining that he, Nile is the mother of Nubia. Ooh. Wow! Wow! Yeah. That's becoming one with the earth right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Nubian houses are built of sun-dried mud bricks. Sun-dried mud bricks. Mm-hmm. Mm. This sort of like calm. Yeah. Got the uh, straw in it. Yeah. Uh, 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 silt and mud and the straw. Oh, this is real strong too. Yeah, yeah, very strong and uh, as let's heat. I guess when I do yeah. ever get a house, it'll be out of that. Uh, and nomadic. Uh, uh, yes. And there are two kinds of roofs. The flat roof made of dead palm tree leaves. Uh-huh. There's the roof that's yeah. made of the leaves. De dead palm tree leaves. Dead palm trees. Yeah. And the other roof is dome vaulted, as I will show you in the bedroom. Ah, uh, the dome roof. Yeah, yeah. Dome. And that's made out of uh, the earth also? Yeah, like the yeah, cow? yes. Oh, I would love well, to see that. Why it is dome? Because if it is flat, the rays of the sun fall vertically, makes the inside hot. Ah. But if it is dome, it reflects away the rays of the sun, so the inside is cooler. Very important. So the yeah. dome reflects 
Yeah. The heat. Yes. But being flat makes it hotter. Yeah. So, gotcha. Yeah. That's something we're going to work uh, on. And Nubian house consists of open court. This, like this. Mm -hmm. Open court. And the rooms open to the open court. Right. See? Now listen at this. In this the, is a Nubian house, right? Yeah, yes. This is a Nubian house. Look, in, in the open court, we put clean yellow sand. Got clean, clean sand? Uh, because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. the wife, she will sweep this like this. Right. <laughs> because in the second morning, she will see if some scorpion oh, or some snake. She will see the trails. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's and amazing. From where it comes and where it hides. Ah, oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So it may be the earliest alarm system which yes. is still working. <laughs> this is the alarm system. <laughs> the, that's the motive of the protection we were talking yesterday in the Isis temple. Mm -hmm. She is the lady of snakes, corpses, and protecting. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Oh, that's fascinating. <laughs> okay, you understand? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. My English is good. Oh, you're wonderful. <laughs> you speak better English than I do. <laughs> you, you, you are do. doctor. Doctor. I need translators all over the place. I, I Five also, or six I of them. I also speak Spanish. If you oh, 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 man. Habla español. <laughs> Habla español <laughs> poquito. Yo hablo mucho. Right. <laughs> So we we know agua 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 is water. agua agua, <laughs> agua mineral agua <laughs> right agua mineral <laughs> mineral water yes. but he said the Nubian houses like open courtyards yeah and the, the the rooms open to the open courtyard and they're open to the open courtyard yeah. so look at this room right here then you got the open sky right here of course the weather's like beautiful exactly so you could enjoy the elements no, the nature exactly it is the the motive of this is to allow the sun to enter to the rooms whoa talk about holistic because, living because the sun uh, uh, purifies the you sun know? purifies yeah and also <laughs> To, to renew the air. And to renew the air. Yeah, yes. It the pranic message is everywhere. It is not like that these houses uh, like uh, boxes, closed boxes. Uh, ah, a yeah, cage. No, no, yeah. no change of air. Cage. Yeah, 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 cage, yeah. But it is open. The houses is open. I'm in a Brethren paradise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is where so, it's at. Well, we can learn from this in the city or modern life just to open windows as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, yes. all the oh, time. yeah, you yes. gotta do Let that. Let the yeah, sun yeah. come in. Uh, Look at that open. Right. This is the house. <laughs> so the sun could come in, purify, clean the air. Uh, yes, yes. And purify and clean our bodies. Yeah. You know, you know when, when I am in this house, mm -hmm. when I have flu, right. It disappears is in just one day. Wow! Uh, because because you know the, the, because the virus will not stay. It is open. The virus won't stay because it's open. The energy is moving. Go, go, yeah. Go, go you ahead. hear this? Yeah. And you know, uh, but why when when you are in the uh, closed house? Uh -huh. So the virus is inside always. You, so inside. when the house is closed uh -huh. and the energy is not circulating, yeah, yeah. Yeah. your sickness will last longer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Do, do, oh man, do we need to say more? <laughs> this is excellent. Yeah. This is Nubian expert <laughs> healthcare. Yeah. And we're talking about resurrection, how the body by its constitution yeah. can heal itself. Nubia will teach the world many lessons. Yes. Uh, Nubia will teach the world many lessons. Yeah. And he's coming with the holistic idea right now. We thought this was primitive absolutely not no this is way. high no technology yeah. yeah 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 all the way uh, this and, is a uh, place uh, for an international base yeah. right <laughs> and, me. And natural, i'm in a breathing in paradise yeah. natural. you are in, in in direct contact with the nature yeah. a direct contact with nature this is how everybody's yeah. living yeah, yeah. this so, could be my next retreat in aswan yeah. right, yeah. right. <laughs> look look uh, the, in the open court Right. All daily life objects. Uh huh. Like like this oven for bakery. Right. This oven for bakery. Yeah. This. And the other oven. And look at the other oven. This is actually an oven. Yeah, yeah. It, this is the original Nubian uh, oven. Original Nubian oven. For bread. So this actually. Yes, for, 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 bread. for thin bread. This for yeah. thick bread. And this for the thick bread. Yeah, yeah. this for the thin oh, bread. Oh, because here, 
here they put the fire yeah, on the down lady, and the door and, and then the door they yeah. spread like this it's a strong fire and yeah. it cooks quickly after one second it, it turns is, to it, the other and take yes, it out exactly oh wonderful right. how, how did you i know? told you my mother arabian uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, he said how do you know <laughs> and this hand will for and milk for crushing grain. <laughs> and that's for crushing grain. Yes, yeah. and milk for crushing grain. Mm -hmm. This milk for crushing coal and henna. Coal, coal eyeliner? Grains. Kuchul. Kuchul is the um, black uh, mineral that you crush and black then the woman put you crush in and eyes. the woman make... Uh, oh, yes. so makeup was Eye, there. Eyeliner. Yeah. <laughs> We were talking about yesterday. <laughs> all natural makeup. Yes. Without harming all <laughs> no, these other things, it, animal experiments. It, it, it actually strengthens the eyes because also the black absorbs the sun rays and the sun rays coming into the eye strengthen the sight and the pineal gland. Uh, yes, makes uh, glow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Holistic yeah. lifestyle. And, and this for shaving the hat. This a mold after we make the hat, we make it to take its it's shape like. Oh, so that keeps the shape of the hat. Oh. Yeah, to making it. Wow. A mold, oh, a mold. man. Wow. And this tagine for cooking. For cooking. It is made of pottery. And this is pottery. Yeah. yeah. Pottery. Oh, this is excellent. Yeah. yeah. And this uh, water jar. Right. For cooling water. Yeah. You know oh, how, yeah, this is cooling know, water. You know how it works? Oh, but explain to me one more time. We, 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 we put the water inside. Okay? Yeah. It has bores. It has bores, you see? Mm -hmm. The water comes out of the bores. Right. The evaporation of this water absorbs the heat from inside. So the water inside is cold. Cool. Yeah. It is the same thing that when we, when we sweat. All right, now listen to that. Yeah. It's the same thing when we sweat. The body keeps itself cool. So, so the, the evaporation of this uh, water comes out of the body, mm -hmm. makes, absorbs the heat from the body, so the body is cold. Yeah. <laughs> Holistic technology, I understand yeah. as well. Right. And also, another example, if you put alcohol, you know alcohol? Yes. If you put here, when it evaporates, you feel here cold. You feel cold when it evaporates. Uh, yeah, but because it, it, to evaporate, it takes the heat from your body. Yeah. Takes the heat from the body. So, so the body is cold. Uh, so this is what we're talking about. When you learn how to use the body yeah, with the it, elements. Yes, it is. Right. I told you that Nubia teaches the world the many lessons. I'm in paradise. Yes. <laughs> I'm I, in brother in paradise. I, I used to live out in nature. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I had I'm not one, coming back one to like the this. city. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> It's over with. Okay. All right. Okay. This is I'll visit. Also, this is no, also I, will talk, I will talk about yeah. it. Uh, look, these jars for storing dates. For storing oh. dates. And that's for storing dates, yes. the jars up yes. there. And those dates for, is all over the place. And those for storing gra grain. grain. Those oh. ones is for storing grain. Oh. Yeah, those for storing grain. Oh, got you. Yes. Those are big ones, yeah. too. And this for, for keeping food fresh. Ah, the, oh. this. now look at this refrigerator. This yeah. is for oh. keeping food fresh. Yeah, this isn't no processed foods. I guess it is hung, hung, uh, facing uh, fresh air, and protected from flies and ants by the net. Yeah, so they're using the fresh air, and this is protected from the flies and the, yeah. uh, different bugs. Yeah, this is a refrigerator. Yeah. And this for, Talk about bring, living holistic. for bringing water from the Nile, it is made of goat skin. Right. Goat skin. You see the tail of the goat? Yeah. yeah. Goat skin. Awesome. And you see, <laughs> we, co we, co we come to the most important question. All right. If you want to understand Nubia, Nubia have three keys. Uh-huh. Three to keys. 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 To open life in Nubia, there are oh. three keys. Yeah. One of these keys is the dead palm tree. Right. The other is woman. Right. Uh -huh. The third is the Nile. Oh man, I can uh -huh. see that. So we take, we start by the dead palm tree. Right. Why it is, uh, why it is one of the keys to understand Nubia? Yeah. Because every part of the dead palm tree is used by the Nubia. Right. For example, from the trunk here. See, this is the they use the whole tree. Yeah, from the trunk here. Of the date palm tree. Which is the trunk here, you see? 
Don't waste yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The trunk, we, we make beams for roof. Right. Yeah, but here, because the roof is very wide, so it will bend like this, so I, I, I used iron. Right. But usually we use the, uh, the date palm tree. And mm -hmm. also bridges over small canals of irrigation. Right. To go from this side to the other side. Mm -hmm. but if you go outside, you will see some benches. I made some benches outside the door made of the of this uh, the date trunk. palm. The trunk. So the trunk of the day palm tree, what they're saying, is like one of their keys yeah. here in Nubia. No, the, uh, the whole uh, day palm tree. And they use the whole day palm tree. Uh, the, you see the leaves, in, in the, we have leaves, you see this leaf, yeah. and these leaflets. Leaves and leaflets. Right, leaves and leaflets. Look like this. This is the leaf inside, and these are the leaflets. Right. Mm. You see? Gotcha. Yeah. From the leaf, leaf, we make the roof, the roof. We make the roof. We make the bed. Look and this is a bed. This is a single bed and the down is a double bed. Ooh. Whoa, wait a minute. King yeah. size. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Double bed at the bottom? Uh -huh. Yeah, this double bed for two persons. And for two people. Strong, and this huh? is a single yeah, bed. Yeah, this for one very strong. Very strong. Yeah. yeah. And the chair. Also. Think about holistic. <laughs> Look, the chair, the chair. Oh. And oh. and the table. And this is a chair. Yeah. The table here. And this is the, the table. table. Yeah. All and, out of the and, same tree. And, and the bird cage. Look. Bird oh. cage. Oh. Bird cage. Oh my gosh. For the pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bird cage. Well, that'd be oh, my house. Pigeons, yeah. Wow. And the, the fruit basket like this. Look, this fruit basket. So y'all use the whole tree. Yes. The leaves. The the, and the leaflets also. The leaflets. The leaflets. You, you see the leaflets? Yes. The front like this. Yes. That's your broom. Like yes. we, 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 make, we make bag. You see here the bag. Yeah. The bags. Bag and baskets. Baskets. What else do I put And carpet. And carpets. Mat. Yeah. What else do you and need? Also, this you um, open it. Yeah. And then the floor made out of sand. It's all soft. And also, we make we make the Nubian plate. You see. I'm in Brethren Paradise. You see these plates, Nubian plate. Right. Made of two materials of date palm tree. The inside, inside of this, yeah. which comes from this part. You see this part which carries the fruit. Yeah. We take this part, the fiber inside, which is this. This, this, when you remove the outside part, you can take the fiber from inside. Oh, excellent. Uh -huh. So this, when soaked by water, it becomes stronger and more flexible. Right. So you can shape it like this, like uh, this, and then by a needle. Right. For joining the parts and for decoration, we use this. Oh, so, man. So this, from yeah. inside is this. And from outside is this. Uh, Absolutely. And what is the color? What, yeah, what the color I will show you inside. Okay. Now we're gonna learn how to do the colors too. Yeah. yeah. And also this from the fruit. I I will yes. talk uh, just the uh, wow. just to wait. Hey, yeah, you jumping a gun? Thank you. Look, and uh, <laughs> even even the fiber. You know from where we get the fiber from here. This, this we make loofah for oh, taking now the listen shower at this. and for talking, uh, oh. for, and for washing the dishes. Yes. So y'all use this from the day palm tree to yeah. wash dishes? Yeah. Uh -huh. And you see, and this uh -huh. rope for tying animals and boats. Oh. Make ropes oh. uh, all out of the same tree. Yeah. And the, the doormat. 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 For cleaning shoes before entering the house. Oh, man. And this uh, broom for sweeping. A broom. Uh, and this for transporting sun-dried mud bricks over the back of the donkey. Oh, sort oh. of like a bed. Yes, oh. yeah, yeah. For the, and this for transporting stones over the back of the donkey. It is oh. very strong. You see, it is oh. very strong. Oh, it is. That yeah. can carry up. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. my gosh. And this for protecting the back of the donkey while carrying the load. Right. Maybe yes. even a hammock. Yeah, and, and sometimes uh, you could do so uh, much with this. Straw. straw. Yeah. yeah. And this yeah. comes from the fruit of the tree. Yeah. And yeah. and this, you see, and this for climbing 
the person who harvests the, the dead palm tree, the right. dead, he, he goes up. Oh. So, oh, man. So, so this for. Oh. Right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I could take a couple of trees and have all my belongings alike. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm sold. And you see here uh, also even dates. dates. Right. Nubian used to eat dates fresh in summertime and dry in wintertime. Ah. And used to make very strong liquor called araki. Oh, oh liquor. Oh, my God. Oh. Araki, you know that. The dates grow everywhere. That, that's, that's much sugar. Mm -hmm. The fermentation of this sugar produces wow. alcohol. Oh, I bet it does. So, so, date, so, so date liquor. but it is, it is seventy five percent of alcohol. Oh. Wow. So it is very strong. For those who like to drink, you, you when, date paradise. When, 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 uh, when you drink, uh -huh. you feel like a fire entering that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I bet. No, no. <laughs> and, and you, you, you feel uh, your body hot, right? Sweat. Your eyes turn red, right. and you want to fight. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Cleaning you out, huh? <laughs> that's a heavy piece. Wow. Yes. Look, oh, and, man. and also that's why when we have a wound also, we put this, the wine we drink uh, as oh, this, we were talking about that earlier. Like yeah. Like disinfect. Right. <laughs> you know? Like, so you can use it to disaffect wounds. Yeah. Actually, everything we was talking about in the last 12 hours, you master are talking about and um, mm -hmm. teaching. It's beautiful. Oh, exactly. Because yeah. this is all in my teachings, if you realize yes. it or not. <laughs> so, and even the, the seeds. The seeds. Oh, there's the seeds from the date. Now look at this. The seeds are burned and the ashes are used as eyeliner. Cool. 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 You can make oh. jewelry. Yes. And cool. also we make a bracelet, necklace, jewelry, and mm. belt, belt from the date party. Belt. Oh, man. So, so you don't need I no leather that belt. You, can... you agree that date palm tree is one of the keys to understand. Yes. Yeah. It's the one key. of the keys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we have two more keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the date palm tree is one of the keys. Yeah. The first one. <laughs> the first one. You can make so many things. Yeah. You got a whole house yeah. here made out of a tree, basically. Exactly, yes. Everything yes. you need. And you see, this room is, uh, is the most important room, this bedroom. This bedroom is the most important room. You know why? Why? Baby factory. It's a baby factory. <laughs> All right, now we're going into the second keys of Nubia. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is, it is the woman, know, the you, second you know, one. You know, you know that Nubian used to lose many children. Right. Through epidemic oh. diseases like malaria, cholera, bilharzia, oh. scorpion, sting, snake bite, right. attacked by crocodiles, drawn Ooh. in the flood season. Yeah. No vaccine in that time, no vaccine. Right. So people, my, my father and mother got eight eight children uh -huh. four died before two years ago oh. wow that's something ain't it? Yeah. so they have to keep producing uh. right because some to keep the human family going yeah, yeah right. exactly <laughs> so the uh, and nubian uh, they they, uh, they uh, uh, believe that evil spirits right may enter this room Oh. and deprive us our fertility. The bedroom. Yeah, the bedroom. Yes. We'll yes. enter this room and deprive us our fertility. So this is like your energetic room yeah. of protection. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I will show And or make the pregnant woman miscarriage. Ah. Oh. Or make the woman with little milk not enough for feeding the child. Right. So this because of the evil spirits. Right. That's why. All this decoration, you think uh, uh, only decoration? No. Oh, well, I, amulets. Uh, these are charm, amulets. Charms. Protection. Charm. Yes. Uh, protection Listen at this. Yes. Yeah. Here. Look, look. Energy workers. Here. Yeah. Look, these two swords. Right. Two swords. Oh. Two swords. Two swords, two and swords and with a hand. Hand of Fatima. Fatima, the daughter of Prophet Muhammad. Ah, oh, gotcha. And the, the, the brain carpet. Brain carpet. Right. Here. And the crescent moon, these yes. Islamic symbols of protection oh. against the evil, uh, evil oh. spirits. Right. right. Because now all Nubians are Muslims. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. But the question is, if they are Muslims, why they, what, what is for these crosses to 
Oh. And you got the two crosses. These are amulets again. Yeah. Beco because Nubian were Christians for 800 years. Oh. Ah. So what do no, different no, transitions? No, Nubian, yes. Nubian last people in the Nile Valley to change from Christianity to Islam. Ah, got so, you. So they are still keeping cross as protection against evil spirits. Ah, got you. And all is protection for the woman. All, all yes. Things. We're going to make uh, yeah. this make sense. Huh? Uh, and, yeah. all, and also uh, the, the newborn child. Right. The same right. day of his birth, by, by the eyeliner, by the kohol, we make cross here. Oh, so, right. Although we are Muslims. Oh. Right. And after, mm -hmm. after seven days, we take the child to the Nile to wash his hand and feet and face, which is baptism. Oh. Which is baptism. But uh -huh. while they are making the baptism, they pronounce Quran. Right. So they mix Christianity. They're mixing it to make a new flavor because we can do that as humans. Yeah. But they're yeah. energy workers. Yeah. And th these plates, you know, yeah. you know, these plates reminds you by God Ra, God Ra, a God of the sun. The sun discs. The, the sun, sun, sun. The Egyptian sun discs. Yes. The Nubian yes. believes that this reflects the rays of the sun against the eyes of the person who practices evil eye to oh. make him blind. Yes. Ah, yes. So these plates are basically the sun disc you're yeah. saying of Ra. Reflect the rays of the sun yes. against the eyes of the person who practices evil eye to ah. make him blind. To make them blind. Yeah. To make blind the bad witchcraft. I'm yeah. going to do a teaching about that, the evil eye. They say yeah. most people die because yes. of the evil eye. Yes, yes, that's why. Uh -huh. And the triangular niches. Right. You see the niches in the wall? The niches in the wall. Triangular niches. Yeah. You see? This is our African part. African and this part. is the African part. Oh. Because Nubian believes that the spirits of our grandfathers right. come to live with the family, to protect the family. So these for housing the spirits of our grandfathers. So this is the houses yeah, yeah, of your yeah. ancestors. Rest place for the spirits of our grandfathers. So the spirits caress. Yeah. And, <laughs> and this comes from the African tradition, ancestor worship. Ancestor ah, worship. ancestor worship. Because it's still in many countries of Africa, they Our worship the, 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 the grandfathers. They worship the grandfathers. Oh. Right. So this is our African part. The African part, you got the Islamic part, the Christianity uh, yeah, Christian part, part, and, and the Egyptian part. Egyptian, Egyptian part. All mixed in one. Yeah, because oh. Nubian, he says that if this will not work, the other may work. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Yes. How can you go wrong? Many options to, yeah, keep, yeah, to be many saved. Options to be saved. They want yes. to offer all kinds uh -huh. of protection to this. So but the main the thing. So ancestors are in the triangles? The ancestors are yeah, inside yeah, yeah. The, the spirits. The, the spirits. The, spirits the main thing. The yeah. I like how you said this okay. just isn't decorations. Yeah, not only Nubian decoration. African this is amulets yeah. of African energy work African. for what you want to happen through intent. See, no. there's times I take a bottle of water and put a word on it, uh, a positive word. Yeah. So we, we do that now today, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do amulets or yeah, why amulets. they do a decoration. Yeah, 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 yes. This to bring a certain energy, deal with uh, symbols. What for this? Why why they paint these palm trees? These palm trees yeah. shows us the hope of Nubian in good harvest of dates. For the good harvest of dates. Why, you know why? Life because life. dates was money for Nubians. Oh, exactly. If I want to buy your camera, I give you dates. Right. So because dates was, was the it, currency. Yeah, it, it was a kind of bartering. Oh my gosh. You see. So the more debts you have, the, the, the more rich you are. The more rich you are. Yeah. You awesome. Understand? So this... Many the, forms of economics. The, the ho hope of the Nubian in good harvest of debts. The bird shows us the hope of Nubian in good quantity of domestic animals. Ah. For, for eggs, for meat, for... Uh, right. Yeah. You see? And the Nile shows us the hope of Nubian in moderate level of Nile. You got the Nile River here. Yeah, yeah. Moderate level of nine. Not so high and dangerous. Yeah. Not so low and not enough for energy. Right the balance. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. And the gold here. Gold. Nubian are interested in keeping gold as money saved. Ah, and this is rich in gold yeah, once upon yeah. a time. You know why? Because I Nubia, see gold all no, up there. No, Nubia was the land of gold. 
The land of gold. Yeah, no, Nubia, all mines of gold have been in Nubia. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, that's why Nubian interested in keeping gold as money saved. When you have money saved, you put in the bank, no? Right. right. Nubian make it gold. He will spend this gold in three occasions. Right. When building a new house, when uh -huh. one of the children will marry, or when going to the pilgrimage to Mecca. Oh. Ah. This scene says that me, Muhammad Subhi, here. Here's the Muslim I, part of it again. I, I, I Go to Mecca. I, I performed the pilgrimage twice. Oh, twice. Once by boat and yeah. the other by plane. Oh. Right. And did you bring water from Mecca? Yeah, yes. Yeah, the Zamzam, -zam. -zam. or the Zamzam -zam -zam water. If you ever get a chance to taste that. Yeah, when they go that? around there seven times, now we go inside the. It gets room. blessed oh, from the energy oh, of the people oh. going around, and it's very energetic for those who've never okay. tasted Zam Zam. <laughs> oh. Maybe he will surprise us and let us taste some Zam Zam. Let's see. <laughs> now, listen at this. Yes, look, look at I will show you the bedroom. Now we're going into the second key, oh. and that's the birth. To the baby because factory. The, oh, baby the baby factory, because it's the female energy that we talk about is the reason why we're here <laughs> on the level that we are, and um, Look. women oh, bring forth the next side. generation. First oh, of all, the, of the, the, no, 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 enter, enter by you. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, first of all, this wardrobe also made of date palm tree leaves. This is a closet, yeah, a yeah, wardrobe, yeah, made wardrobe. out of date palm leaves. Yeah, and this cradle for the children. And this is the cradle for the children, yeah. again, made out of the same tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. And uh, look, the first thing th that you felt when you entered, it is cold. Yeah. yeah. You know why? The roof is domed, so it reflects the rays of the sun away. Oh. So the inside is cooler. So remember what we said? Yeah. It was cool in here when we yeah, walked yeah. in because, because the, the roof, roof is dumb. Is you, 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 if you make like this, the roof will be will clear, be clear. It is dumb. See how the roof is dumb? Yeah, the roof is dumb. And the windows are small to avoid the sun. Ah, gotcha. You see? The windows here yes. are small. Uh, to, to protect small the windows. baby. To yeah, protect uh, the uh, baby uh, temperature. And it is cool uh, in here. This uh, is yeah. all natural air conditioner. Yeah. Uh, exactly. And so, from age of 17 young girl she starts to make the decoration of her future wedding room oh that, awesome. that's why it is highly decorated so she makes all this she learns from her mother yeah how to yeah make it. And so she her, highly decorated and her friends also make with her and offer her yeah the decorations yeah. there yeah, yeah you this see. is a woman's art culture this yeah is well, so it is beautiful. Woman. instead of gossiping or being idle doing important things right it's amazing yeah. Yeah. art uh, the, the uh, woman art is this decoration and the wall paintings also. It oh, is the wow. decoration of the walls by women. What a role in the culture. Yeah. Yes. And that, what catches that, me. That's why woman is highly respected in Nubia. Oh. The woman is highly respected in Nubia. What is, right. the, what is the proof? I will give you the first proof. Yeah. That in the marriage, man comes to the house of the... He, he marries in the house of his wife. He marries in the house of his wife. So he comes to be part of her family. Become part of the wife's family. Yeah. Instead yeah. of vice versa. But Excellent. being a part of her family, he will never insult her. He will treat her well. Right. So that beating on her, making her feel emotionally bad, yeah. that's yeah. out the window because that's going to be the mother of his but, children. But in the other societies, Muslim and Arabic societies, he takes his wife to his House. Oh, he owns her like yeah, she he is owns his property. But oh, here, wow. But but here she owns him. Right. But he owns uh, her. Well, this is the land of the ISIS temple. Well, yeah. <laughs> the woman owns the man, but in a good way. With in a good way because forces. because he lives with her family. With uh, love. Uh, and uh, the family will treat him well. And, and that yes. should make a difference on the offspring, the family, right. the getting along. They will live about five, six years. Mm -hmm. in the house uh -huh. of her family. In these five, six years, her mother will train her right. how to be responsible for the new life. Right. Awesome. Uh -huh. And in these uh, five, six years, she will get at least two children. So oh. will see, she, she will train him, her 
how to raise children. Talk mother, about hands-on parenting. Yeah, and the mother is the wise woman. Yeah, and she, look at she this is beautiful a trainer. She is a trainer. A trainer. And, and in these five, six years, the man can save some money. Right. Because he, he lives here with, yeah. with the minimum... Oh. Uh, he yeah. can and save some money. And, and uh, find the gold. He can find <laughs> the gold on the river. No, and he, he, he saves some money to build a house, uh -huh. to rent a house. Right. So this life here is like a transit. A transition. Yeah, from, from, from being the child, she, the woman, from being the child to right. being the, the, the mother and the lady of the house. This so is, this is the second keys of Nubia, which is yeah. the woman. Yeah, but still we have... I told you that woman is highly respected. Right. Uh -huh. But this is the first reason. And the second reason and the third reason I will tell you inside. Oh, okay. awesome. We okay. got more to go. Okay. So yes. this can is I just take a picture may, sitting? May, yeah, sit? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Make, make, uh, make a picture, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Only making a picture, not making babies, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Right, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just uh, joking. Uh, That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> it's good to have a sense of humor. That's part of the energy to keep us healthy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this no, is no wonderful. Breaking babies. Don't worry. <laughs> so that makes sense because we're in the age too, especially dealing with a lot of things, dealing with living on prana, is relationship problems, dealing with the male and female energy. And I like how you hit straight to the point of... Um, and it's not so much as he brought the female about her being respected, how that male will actually live with her family, get to know the family for five years, bring more unity to it. And um, the female and the male are actually getting together closer to really build their lives a good, good training. Uh, unlike uh, in a lot of cultures, where we're putting people in the programs, people getting pregnant, don't know nothing about being a mother, don't know nothing about being a father. This is a whole good thing on how they're training up and putting this much emphasis on a next generation how for to families. Live in a harmony. Also the Isis uh, motives of a nurturing mother. The importance of woman in Nubia. Does he know um, Nubia? Ah, she is <laughs> she is Amir, you see? Right. She is the daughter of my friend. Oh, how you doing? And, <laughs> and she is, she is, uh, he, she is specialized. Uh, she studied uh, in the Faculty of Arts. Oh, French, no, artists. French, 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 no, French literature. literature. Ah! So she is explaining oh. the French uh, speaking people. Oh. She explains them for uh, the <laughs> museum. For the French speaking. So you do the French speaking? Yeah, yeah, she she's she, she speaks for she speaks French. Ah, Pari Boom Banze. Look. Woman is highly respected. Right. I will give you why. Because I told you that agricultural area very small. Yeah. No place for men to work. Right. Men used to go to Cairo, Alexandria, Khartoum, the big cities. Yeah. They work and send money. Right. But who takes care about the village? The woman. Because Nubian village was like this. Children, yeah. old people, and women. Oh. Who will take care about the children and old people? The woman. She's woman. Right. Woman means That's a lot of work. Yeah, this kind of bread. This kind of, uh, this kind of bread. This kind of spaghetti. Right. See? Oh, uh, look, uh, grinding yeah. uh, dough yeah. and making spaghetti and yeah. sun drying, yeah. right? Yes. Drying the sun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. And she brings water, used to bring water from oh. the Nile. Bring your water from the oh. Nile. Yeah, yeah. See, ag agricultural small area made by women. Look. Oh. Women, right. they are coming. Uh, uh, Dancing. They, yeah, they, uh, they are uh, returning from the field. Culture. And happy. Woman yeah, happy. happy. And look at this significant picture. Young girls, they are working. Oh. Right. Why young boys playing with the cat? Not yet. <laughs> oh. Not yet. When he will be 20 years old, he will go to Cairo. Yeah. But that, this scene means that the society is preparing the woman since she is a child to right. take responsibility. 
So it's like the women are on the fort when the men go traveling, yes. when the so men go to cares, war. She cares about, no, come here oh, first. Oh, there's the women over here. Yeah. Harvest of dates by women. And she's the doing only, the dates? The only man, the only oh. uh, man who, the person who climbs uh, the date palm tree to harvest. Ah, gotcha. Ah. All the rest by women. Gotcha. War paintings by women. Oh. Right. Coiffure by women. Right. Handcrafts of date palm tree by women. Right. So woman, that's why woman, so woman, woman, woman. Woman is highly respected. Highly respected. Only in Nubia, my name is Muhammad. Right. My mother's name is Fatima. Right. People used to call me Muhammad Fatima and I feel happy. You feel happy. But if you make it in Luxor or in any, any part in Egypt, you will be very angry. Ah. It is insult. Which we consider brown, it is insult for them. Exactly. So that means that woman is highly respected. Right. Divor and divorce in Nubia is not common because woman is highly respected. Oh, of course, if the woman's happy, why should she get a divorce? It's teaching society an important formula yeah. for living a man and woman in harmony. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. And uh, polygamy, marrying more than one woman in Nubia, is not common. Right. Oh. woman is highly respected. Although it is legal because we are Muslims. Right. right. But the society... So marrying all those different oh. women? Okay, I got that. Also I, because I can't handle one. one. That's why I, 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 said, I told you that the second key to understand Nubia is woman. It's through the woman. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I, I think also because the man comes to live in the woman's house, so yes. he has respect. He cannot do what he needs. Yeah, yeah. uh, exactly. Natural so. urges. And, and what I gotta him. say too is by this work we look at it, on what level we're living in this paradise because. Yeah. The obesity I don't see is here. And I gotta this, add that in because she's working, she's moving, yeah, she got yeah. something but, to do. But she, ha she has her influence, her power, decisions taken by women. Right. So, so she can make decisions. She, she's choices. not uh, like in the in the Middle East uh, countries. Woman. Like, like this. Yeah. Not yeah. like no, this. No. She's uh, like a queen. Yeah. She the queen. Right. That's why. It is. I'm in a holistic paradise. In the history, or Nubia, many queens were queen rulers. Oh, Women. oh <laughs> wow. Well, it went to the ISIS temple. Yeah, yeah. Like one, one name of the Nubian queen. This is oh, awesome. I will, I will show you oh, even to make good, good. The names. Good. Yeah. Look, look uh -huh. at the third important thing is the Nile. The Nile. Right. Nile, source of agriculture. This water wheel for lifting water. Right. Source of fishing. So the now is the third important thing. Yeah, because source of agriculture, source of fishing, source of silt, mud, natural uh, the fertilizer. The mud, the silt. Yeah, natural fertilizer. Right. And the raw material for making some dried mud bricks for building houses. Oh, absolutely. Um, Got your all natural building material. For, for all these reasons, Nubia believes that there are some good angels who live inside the river. Oh, oh. of course. The, world, the earth provides things for free. The yeah. man realizes it. So, oh. in, in, in some occasions, women, they have sweets. Yeah. Sweets. Sweet. Rice with milk and, and they put sugar. In the river. And they throw <laughs> it to the Nile oh. right. <laughs> to satisfy these good angels oh. who gives us happiness, health, <laughs> <laughs> marriage, good harvest of things yeah. and so on. Yeah. So, there have been a spiritual connection between oh. the Nile and the Nubian. A spiritual connection dealing with the waterway. Yeah. You see, most civilizations that are powerful is built near a waterway yeah, because that gives it life. Like the river. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Agriculture. Yeah. But the Nile, which was a blessing, right, became a curse. So it was a blessing, but it could become a curse. Why? Because after building the dam, 43 Nubian villages became under the water. Underwater, oh my gosh. You know, right. when you, you the, the, the river runs like this. Yeah. You put here a the dam. dam, so the water will increase. Ah, and wipe away some villages. What For, else? Forming a great reservoir, Lake Nassau. Right. But Nubian villages became down 
in the water. Right. <coughs> so there was so a price to pay on how so you So Dunya lost three millions of best quality of dead palm trees. Wow, three million trees lost. Yeah, three million. And look at this, this is the flooding. Yeah, yeah. And and the compensation by the government for every four palm trees, just one pound. And one they gave you one pound for losing a tree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. So so what a government. Ah, uh, it is one one pound for four palm trees. Oh man, that's even worse. Yeah. Uh, so it is it is not fair. It's not fair at all. Yeah. The, here, wow. here in 1964, 1964, they are gathering to keep their to 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 migrate to leave their homeland. Yeah, because it's flooded. Because it's flooded, so everybody so you have migrate. to move, taking motorboats, taking sailboats, taking their animals, taking their furniture to where? To, to where? To the desert. Oh, so they went from certain that was fertile. Imagine people used to live beside the river. Right. And you take them to the desert. And now you got to go to the desert because uh, imagine, of the river being destroyed. Yeah, because uh, imagine people whose heritage connected to the Nile. They believe in good angels in the Nile. Ah, oh, and then you take out them, different. And then you take them to the devils of the desert. Yeah. Because I think in the desert, no angels in the desert. No, you're right. No angels in the desert. Uh, Only scorpions. Yeah. This is, this is <laughs> Ruby as agony. Ah, oh, the agony is living in the desert. Uh, yeah, the people they, didn't always live in the desert. Yeah, they were living while they were living beside the river. They were living beside the river. They're now. They're now in the desert. But now, due to the things that took place, the governments forced them into the yeah, desert. Yeah. We got it now. Yeah, you understand? That's it. That's interesting. And this come here. Uh oh, the crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, where she comes. Ah, uh, here I go. Oh, I thought it was alive. <laughs> no, no, it is. Uh, it is oh. mummified. It is oh, real yeah. one, but mummified. Yes, yeah, mummified. You, you see, this is Lake Nasser, the reservoir formed by. So this the represents Maya. the lake. Lake, Lake, lake Nasser, water and sand and mountains. Look at these two pictures. Right, these two pictures for the same place. Before building the dam, this before building the dam, and this after building the dam, and this is after the same dam. place, the same place. Before building the dam, this is a fortress. You see the fortress, yeah, on, on the top of the mountain, right? So it's up here, yeah. But after building the dam, the water raised, covering the mountain, and the mountain became an island. So this is the destruction that the dam did, yeah. Things so, that we call so the water. Uh, 240 feet high water wow. raised covering 43 Nubian villages. That is a big difference. Yeah, and the, the, the temples were saved by UNESCO right. in the same place from down to up. Right. They could make the same with the Nubian. Oh, but, man. They, but they gave much care to stone more than human beings. Oh, so they saved the temples, but not the humans. Yeah, yeah. Oh my so gosh. I want to say in the same place where uh, 43 Nubian villages existed once. Right. If you go now, you will see only these wild animals. Ah. In the same place of people. Gotcha. This is Nubia's agony. No. Ah, so now we see the destruction that took place. It was man-made. Yeah. Not natural. You understand? Absolutely. You my explanation? Yes, I was. Yeah. So I we was as humanity got to learn how to work with not only ourselves, also with the environment. And we can have a whole okay. better so place. This is moving now. People yeah. are seeing it online, live. Oh, oh. Yes, on Facebook. Here, here. Oh, very good. Okay. And and here I, we go. I, I will give you my Facebook and you can uh, transmit it. Oh, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Look at that you are asking about the queens of Nubia. Oh, oh here we go. The queens of yeah. Nubia. Queen Tai. Queen Tai. Right. Queen of Nubia and the mother of Tutankhamun. Ah, so oh. this is the mother of Tutankhamun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, and the mother of Akhenaton. She, she is Nubian. That's you, a can, you can see her, her face. And she's Nubian. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we didn't learn that on the movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. We don't. <laughs> and beautiful woman. Yeah, and you see this Ahmus Nafartari. Nafartari. No, oh, Nafartari. Nafartari. 
Nefertari is, you see, and she's Nubian. also a Nubian. You see? A beautiful, uh, yeah, beautiful yeah. woman. We're and look, see this. And look, <laughs> school. And look here. <laughs> look here. Look here. Here is this oh. a pure Nubian uh, queen called Amani Renas. Right. Amani Renas. Amani Renas. Amani Renas. She, gotcha. she was guiding the, the armies in oh. fighting against Romans. Oh. 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 And, and she was fighting with two swords. So we have woman warriors. Yeah, she yeah. is most uh, strong. Yeah. strong huh? And she lost one eye. Look. She, she lost her oh. eye. One eye oh. while fighting. That's oh. my type of woman. But she is oh. still, <laughs> she was still fighting. Still oh, fighting. Yeah. Still fighting. Yes. And until she drove away the Roman armies oh. from Nubia. Oh, wow. This, this is oh. Amanda. And this is uh, Sh uh, Queen Shanak Dakite. Shanak Dakite, she is with her son. She is helping her son in ruling the country. So but the mother is helping her son rule. Yeah, yeah. And here also this is. Yo, this shows the role of Nubia in Egyptian history. They were always oh. the the army. They were the archers. The Nubian Egyptian yeah. army. Yeah, in the Egyptian, they were the archers. You see the archers who right were, yeah, archers. The, yeah, yes. the archers, and they were oh. the police. This army and police were Nubian. Oh. <laughs> you see, oh. and this is Queen Amani Tori. Also, she was mentioned in the Bible. Also. Right. The, this Nubian woman, you, you look, she is smiting the enemies. Right. She and she back. got the double swords. Is that the same one that's over there? No, no, it is one, an another queen. Ah. This, this queen, you see, uh, uh, Amani Shiko. Amani Shiko. That crown. Yeah, no, her. Uh, oh, that's a necklace. Yes. Her treasure. Right find in her uh, her pyramid now is exhibited in Berlin Museum. Ah. A lot of treasure. So they got away up in Berlin. She, she was wealthy. Right. You know why? Because she made, after this, made war with the Roman, uh -huh. she made peace. Ah, gotcha. So, so her time was time of luxury. So, time of luxury. Yeah. Oh. So, so now her stuff is we, in the museum. We, we have, <laughs> yeah. You know, we, this shows that the role of woman was very high, even in the old history. Oh. Right. So not only she was in rulership positions, raising families, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. highly respected, yeah, and also yeah. in warfare. So Excellent. woman is highly respected. In this is giving hope for the future of humanity. Yes. And the women have a model, something yeah. to see. We are fighters. Yeah. We are nourishing. I'm seeing this at the Carl Museum. <laughs> Nubians again. Right, right. This is Nubian faces. Come to see all this. in Egypt. And it's here at the uh, Nubian Museum. And it is all about the woman carrying herself with um, self-respect right. and with establishing um, a noble character. Yeah. That uh, is um, something insects. we can really learn from. Yeah. The, the insects in Nubia, the most dangerous is the scorpion. Oh, yeah. Oh. She's a scorpion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the scorpion, dangerous. Bank beetle, or the scarab, yeah, the scarab beetle, royal beetle, and this locust comes every thirty years with millions ah. and eats every green thing. And this is the one on the uh, Egyptian tombs, right? Yeah, this yeah, area. this, this one, this in, in the Egyptian temple. Wow, uh, like, uh, yeah, like a symbol of and, of good luck. And today, do these locusts still come out? Yes, they come every thirty years. Every thirty years, makes invasion with millions and eats every green thing, every kind of plant. That's still taking place every yeah. thirty years. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, I wonder this what is one of the plagues of Egypt in the Bible. In the Bible. Right. And this termite also eats everything made of wood. Termite. Oh yeah, these termites is all over the planet. White ant. White ant. Right. <laughs> white ant. It's everything made of wood. You see? Here also I put the fish in Nubia. This fish, catfish. And this is right out all out in the Nile River. Yeah, in the river. Catfish, Nubia never eat catfish fish because they believe it swallowed the sexual order of God Osiris. Oh. And God Osiris is our grandfather. 
you know, Cyrus lost his penis. <laughs> <laughs> And, and this electric catfish gives a chop of electricity of 350 volts. Now listen at this. He works with electricity. He gives an electrical yeah. charge. Yeah, because... Uh-oh, electrical a, beams. Uh, uh, as a defense. We work with electricity too, that's what yeah. I tell people. When, 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 when you... I, I tried many times, you catch it, it gives a chop. So and it actually shocks you so, when you touch so, it. So keep your hand away. It is a kind of protection. Oh my gosh. Uh, you see? And also, Here we go. yeah, and these are the best eaten are the tilapia and the Nile perch. Right. And those are well known as tilapia but, and but, perch. But, but Nile perch, this is baby one. Look at the big one here. So that's a baby. Yeah, look, look how, how. And how they actually get big. that big. Yeah, yeah. That's like a little absolutely. miniature whale. Yeah. yeah. And this, look, this buffer fish. Buffer fish it is. It lives in the sea and in the uh, river. Abu Nafha. Ah, Abu Nafha. Ah. So it, it, it is poisonous, not eaten. Ah. Only Japanese and Korean eat it. Oh, wow. But they have a special cook who removes the poison and, ah. uh, uh, and it is it's called fugo. Well, you ain't got to worry about us eating it. Ah. And here, <laughs> this, this, this tiger fish. Tiger fish is this, you see. Oh. If you are in the market, you will see some shops smell bad. Ah, so it's they kind are, of they are making salty fish out of tiger fish. Ah. So this, if a person goes in the river, they kill the people? Uh, this no, can eat the no, 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 this is not the piranha. Ah, okay. The piranha, this, uh, okay. Here is, uh, you were asking ah. about the colors, you know? Yes. All this, right. The colors are, are minerals, that's minerals. why. Why the columns lasted over the, the walls of the temples yeah. for thousands of years? And I say that. Because, because they, they, they are stones, minerals. Oh. Made colors out of stone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This stone is crushed and made a powder and melt in water. And ah. it, it stays yeah. forever. And we yeah. see now yeah. sometimes yeah. you can see the blue, see the right. red, and see the yellow. And you know right. the leaflets of the dead palm tree? Yeah. We put inside and boil. So it absorbs the color, not right. superficial. It is, yes. the color is absorbed, absorbs the color. Wow. In this limonite, white, well, yellow color, limonite, iron oxide for yellow color. This hematite, iron oxide, for red color. Right. See? This magnetite for brown color, iron oxide. I see. see. And this malachite for green color. Wow. Malachite for green color. Malachite. I'm in a holistic color. world. And, and, wow. and limestone for white color. White. Yes. So no and chemicals these, like that. Yes. No. So that it's so all natural. They use natural fixes. Yeah, and, the and color. that's why they lasted for long. Here yes. also Galena, this Galena for black color. The Galena stone, right. Yeah, oh. it, and also it is made a powder used for, for, the, for the eyes. Cocoa. Yeah, it, this yeah. Galena. So oh. the colors yeah. are stones, that's why it lasted for thousands of years. Mm. Over. And it lasts long, for thousands of years. Out of stone. Uh, yes, but uh, I, so I, I fall for the stuff we poisons. make in the day as well. Yeah, it's poisonous. Yeah. Here, uh, look at here, this. Now let's this, look at these. This, this natrum, natrum for mummification, a salt. You know the dead body, you yeah. put in a banyo of natrum for 40 days. Natrum absorbs the water from the body, the body is dry, no bacteria enters. This is a mummification. And it comes right out of the stone. Yeah. This for mummification. For mummification. Oh, for mummification. Yeah, this natrum. He said it absorbs all the moisture out of the body. Yeah, yeah, oh. Exactly. So oh, wonderful. Right. So no bacteria can live, you know. So no bacteria can live. No bacteria, no bacteria needs moisture. Ah. So if you remove the moisture, no place for bacteria. And that's the help so of the mummification. Yes. And yes. they've been doing this thousands of years before the modern day yes. civilization. And this quartz, quartz, you know, quartz. Oh, of course, the energy is high on it. I can feel it. Quartz, you know, in the ancient times to produce uh, fire, yeah. This used for producing fire. Oh, oh. You see? And uh, this uh, milky quartz and this smoky quartz. Right. Inside the smoky quartz are mines of gold. Right. Oh. So the geologist, once he sees a mountain of smoky quartz, he starts to dig for gold. Uh -huh. Ah. You see? Uh, 
So, and now uh, in Switzerland, they make watch right. called quartz. Quartz. So yes. these stones are wonderful. Yeah. Yes. And this is a desert in Nubia. And harder stone, do you write? Harder ah, and more resistant right. than granite. Right. Granite and do you write? Do you write harder and more resistant than granite? Oh. So this is the knowledge of stones. Yeah, yeah. And this alum, you see alum? Alum. After, after shaving, we... Uh -huh. Oh wow! And also, oh, we, we, natural. I've seen that before. It's deodorant. deodorant. Natural yeah. deodorant natural. out of yeah. a stone. Organic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, and no poison of aluminium. No. Right. Here, or, here also, you see this talc stone for talc powder. Talc, talc powder. For, for, for baby powder. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can see, see that. Yeah. Wow. This is for baby powder. Soft too. Yes. Uh, so baby powder out of a stone. Not, not only baby, this is real soft. Not yeah. only for baby, but also the people who uh -huh. who carry weights. Yeah. Sportive. Before before they do what they make, all they natural. Put their hand. Yeah, for lifting weights. Yeah, yeah. So this is what they use. Yes, this this you know uh -huh. this powder. So okay. they use this. Look at that. Uh, and this. Yeah. <laughs> So natural cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> so talc stone for talc powder. Okay. This is I awesome. Hope, nice. I, I hope <laughs> yes. I hope you enjoyed the museum. But this was wonderful. The, the last thing I want to show you is our uh, shop. Oh. Uh, this is this the is all natural this, shop. The, this is the best place for making shopping. You know why? Right. Because first of all, this all made handmade by the young girls of the village and yes. my wife she is a teacher. Awesome. Oh. The second oh. thing that the only place we have fixed prices. Okay. And prices are reasonable. I reasonable. see that. We've been out of the town. Is in How the, much in your, is the uh, 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 the oh, is, we're looking for an aunt too, so we found it. It is 40 Egyptian. I think I'm going to start using it in my... Uh, 40 Egyptian. 40, okay. 40 Egyptian. Using it in my yeah. teaching, so yeah. look out. Yeah. I'm going to start is, using it. This is made of camel bone. This made of camel bone, you see. Uh, right. 15, what, what is this? This, uh, I, I don't wood? know the no, uh, kind of wood, but it is of wood. Uh, where is it made? Huh? Where is so this is made? exceptional. Oh, this made so again, we're going to wrap it all up. This is the store. We took you to the Nubia Museum. Hope you got a lot out of this. And we'll be back on later as we go hit the rest of the island. We just wanted to take you through this for those of you who, who never see Aswan or you want to come to, uh, one day. This is a beautiful place to come. The people are real nice. And hope to see you soon. But again, it's dealing with Brethren Resurrection. This all goes with the same package. It's about really learning yourself and resting into this energy that we live in. This is a wonderful thing. This is a wonderful lifestyle. And again, you can do it. It's about human potential. I feel really great. I feel really good because I'm healthy. And all I'm doing is living my lifestyle to help other people. And they also are helping me. We help one another through, through our synergy. Have a nice day. Talk to you soon. And I love you. No.